Hello guys and welcome to Dead Zone PvE uh, Before we start, the server settings will be in the description to see if the server fits for you. That said, let's see what this server offers. Alright, let's go. Uh, first of all, this server is not your typical kind of vanilla server. It's modded, so that means more items and perks. As for example, as you can see, AK-47 Silence and Super Augur. Also, as you can see, I spent some time on uh, here and the maxer level is not 200, but it's 500. So that means uh, you need more time to level up and skills and perks like for guns. So let's take a look and everything takes like the double of time. That means that you won't get bored of leveling so fast. With all that said, let's actually take a look at spawn. So, we have the workroom, which is this, which offers you forges, campfires, uh, camp stations, cement mixers and workbenches. Then we have those rooms, as you can see, around the spawn, which are like kind of hotel rooms, which you can rent for free. And as you can see up there, there's a room without a sign on it, so you can rent that room for a price of zero. So you just ask admin and you get a room. So let me show you how the room looks like. Actually, now when I remember, I told admins to remove my room because I built up my base. So I guess you're gonna have to find out what lies in the room. But as you can see, it's quite a big room, which you get like few uh, um, containers, loot containers. So you can loot them every few days, but that's that. And as you can see, you have player rented vending machines. So as you can see, I actually broke my legs, but here we have uh, teleporters around the world. Oop, what is that? Okay, let's bug out. So we have West City, let's light up. We have Northeast City, we have Libby's Castle and Maze. We have Southwest City, we have Steep Punk. Uh, what is this? Dark Hollow Terror, or Tower, not Terror. A secret government labor laboratory, okay. And all of those are like kind of mini dungeons with of course zombies and there are loot containers there. So you can get some loot and XP from there. And behind the spawn or like the workroom you have TARDIS which I guess I don't watch uh, Doctor Who but I guess this is from Doctor Who and come on TP work. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, sometimes the bot that manages the, you know, teleports and commands can be laggy, but come on. Oh, as you can see, it takes you to, I guess, some kind of base from Doctor Who and, oh god, okay, never mind. So anyways, as you can see, we have a kind of resource mine here and uh, you can get every ore there is. But there is one catch with it. It is lower than in the wild. So as well, you can get free. Are you kidding me? You can get free ores, but they are a lower amount that you would find in my mines. And I don't know what is this happening, but okay, excuse me. Let's go to other locations. So you have Command Plaza, which takes you to player vending machine shop kind of thingy. And you can rent a place here just by, well, buying renting machines from traders and asking admins to put your shop here. You can have max three, as you can see. And yeah, you can put whatever you want on signs. So it's up to you. There are a lot of items here and you can nearly get anything, custom recipes, in-game recipes, whatever you want. So we are in casino and as you can see, a player left us a message to see. So if you come here, you read this or read while I'm pointing at it. Anyways, we are in casino. What is casino? Of course, you know what casino is, but how do you play in casino? You need to find or buy or trade off with someone this casino card and have 50 dukes on you and you go to the machine and right click it and it starts working and you might get a reward so let's see okay and as you can see you get first a key machine schematic but that's not all you can get many items and you can do as many slot machines as you can see so let's see what 
You are not throwing good things, server. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's go once more and let's see if we can get better loot. Because that's actually not the loot you get all the time. No. Come on. Oops. Okay, it fell through. Alright, looks like machine doesn't work to work, but as you can see, you can get quite a while, like, I spend, what, around 200 um, coins, and I can get back 800, so that's a good investment, like, even around 1000 coins, so that's good. So, there are two things more I want to show you, and one is the gimme command, which you can use uh, every few hours, I think, and... It's kind of a buggy command, but you might get some good things. So you have 10 gimmies per reset, and as you can see, sometimes you can win something, but looks like the server is not good to me, and bot is lagging a bit, but let's, yeah. You won 5 stinky yucca food yucca juices. As you can see, you can get food, you can get weapons, you can get everything, like once... I got a 600 sniper, which is quite surprising, because that's a really good weapon. But as you can see, most of the time, game will just say F you to the face. And sometimes, as you can see, cactus too. Sometimes it doesn't drop, and sometimes it falls through the ground, so you need to, well, mine under you. But that's like free items, so it's good, it's not, it's up to you to choose. Anyway, when we finish with gimmies, let me show you around my base. So this is my base, and I just wanted to show you all because why not? I finally made it look nice. So as you can see, we have a nice crafting area here. We have storage area. This one is still empty, and all of those is empty. Like there are a few things here, but as you can see, there are a lot of items. Like I've been crafting a lot of things. So I'm just checking those boxes for if something happens to me so you know like some kind of bug that box gets bugged and items get lost so yeah as you can see we have generator here we have power we have oh one more thing those things are actually auto miners so you can craft auto farmers and auto miners you just need to find a book for them and auto crossbows and there are a few other custom guns like let me just try to show you like well, you can add scopes to everything, but like this Rugler and the Duke rifle, which shoot the Dukes, and there is like this gun I don't have, like there is flamethrower even, there is this M82, which I don't have recipe yet, there is Rugler, okay, and pump shotgun. So yeah, there are a lot of interesting things, and yeah, this is my base, it's kind of empty still, but as you can see, it's getting good shapes, there's a turret here, and I plan to add turrets everywhere. Anyways, this is where I am located, and I will show you this other thing, this orange thing right now. Welcome to Fort 1.0, so this was my first base, and I am actually renting it out for players for free. So if you are a new player, if you found this server by this video, just shoot me up, my name is Zabunko, or that way so as you can see just call me and tell me you want a room here and i can set you up a room so as you can see let's enter this glorious thing so it's unlocked so it's not a problem as you can see the farm is getting ready everything is wooden around here but as you can see you have stairs to go up and i might expand well even higher so there are more rooms than few of rooms are taken, the locked doors are taken, the unlocked are not, and there will be also, uh, well, shops that I made, as you can see, popping pills, I asked admin to give me those signs, and he was nice enough, and gave me, and as you can see, I am in process of decorating them, so this is ammunition, this is crack a book, which will have, like, bookcases and everything, so yeah, it's getting along quite nicely. As you can see, some of the rooms are taken. And one more thing, if you want a room here, you can actually expand it up, down, like... Let's say you took that, that room, or let's say you take this room. What? Okay, that's weird. Anyways, let's take... Let's say you take this room. Of course, you can uh, change your doors to be locked, so you can lock them, replace them with your doors. 
and you can expand up or down because room next to you is actually occupied right now well this was my old room but it's free so yeah it's kind of you can expand where there is no place taken anyways that's that it's here on map if you want to check it out it's by the nice town so it's pretty nice you have loot in there like lots of construction tools and materials there you have that building there which is four in one like shotgun messiah uh pop and pills crack a book and i don't know i think some ways so you have food and everything there and it's pretty all around well around the town and one more thing i want to say you see those cars uh cars actually respawn so feel free to branch them all you want and as you can see, this base is protected, so if you want, you can live here. There are two entrances, and you are free to walk in and check it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and, well, see you guys in the next video. Bye!